I was pottering around the back of the Fabia the other day and I noticed that when I turned the lights on and then turned the rear fog light on, it only illuminated on the offside side of the car. And they didn't fit a fog light on the near side of the car. So I know that the fitment is exactly the same on either side. So I'm going to try and modify it so there's two rear fog lights illuminating. And to see what the effect would be. First of all though, I'm going to wait till tomorrow morning to see what I'm doing. I've got to say though, if you're thinking of doing this, there are implications to it. So this is just a demonstration to show you what can be done and the effects. Whether you do it or not is entirely up to you. Taking the unit out, we can see that the bottom lamp holder is the one we're looking at, which has a dual filament lamp. One for the driving lights and one for the fog light, and not the brake light, which is often the mistake that people make. That's on a separate lamp altogether. So I'm going to put my test light on, and just earth clamp it to here, turn the lights on, and we've got power to the lamp connection for the driving lamps and nothing on the other side if I go now and turn the fog lights on I should see a reading on this side which I do and if we follow the connection up and round to the connector on the back we can see that the bottom connector connects to a, a grey and white wire. So this is what we need to look for on the other side. And here's the fuse, number 37, just here if you need it. Mine's a 5 amp, but some are 7.5. And, and if we look round we can see the connector with a blank terminal and wire missing at the bottom. So we just need to take that off. And then you want to be turning it round to open the connector. It just prizes open to one side. And this is where we can see the female terminal will go. Now I've already connected mine to the grey and white wire just here. I did film the soldering part but I made a mess of the film so, so I can't really show you that. You don't have to solder it. You can use those little blue piggyback clips if you want, which are much easier. And here's the standard VAG terminal repair wire, which are readily available on the internet in different sizes. And here's the terminal end with the little barbs on, which you've got to get in the right position when you insert it into the connector. Simply push the connector terminal in until it clicks. Make sure it doesn't come out. And then close the connector up. And we're done. Check it's in the right position, which we are. And reconnect to the lamp holder. Whoops a daisy, my lamp's falling down. Right, I'll go test it now. Driving lights, and the moment of truth. Yay! Looks pretty good to me. I'll just compare that with the single lamp. Looks about the same to me. Twin lamps and the single and again I'm quite happy with that. 
And of course there's negligible voltage drop and a current carrying capacity of the cable will easily cope with it as well as the fuse which is a 5 amp on mine but as I say some I've been seeing with 7.5 amp but I'll stick with the 5 amp and see how that goes should be fine after all it's only like attaching trailer lights and that has no appreciable detrimental effect on the electrical system anyway thank you for watching leave a comment in the comment section below if you want if you like the video give us a like and consider subscribing if you haven't already subscribed and I'll see you on the next one